breaking crypto news. We have an update on the total number of Bitcoin addresses breaching 1 billion. This is absolutely massive news. The strength of the network is not stopping. Even though the prices are crashing in white, the strength of the network is growing. A billion total addresses. That is one exciting factor behind Bitcoin. Another is the supply demand fundamentals. In orange, we see the total amount of Bitcoin that has been mined and dumped on the market. In white, we see the amount remaining to be mined. So this is a very scarce supply that people are going to be chasing at much higher prices. The rest has been shaken out of the weak hands. It's with the strong hands, the holders, the governments, the institutions, the micro strategies, the Wall Streets. They want this stuff for the long term as a reserve asset. People are going to be fighting over over this remaining white scarce supply. And yes, it is going to take over 100 years for this last remaining white supply to be dumped on the market. So it is a very scarce supply crunch being set up. Now let's speak to the demand side of Bitcoin. Bitcoin donations for political campaigns receive green light in California. So politicians, just like retailers, if they want a piece of that big network, if they want a part of it, they're going to have to accept payment in Bitcoin and in crypto, right? It's all interconnected. So now politicians in California are going to be incentivized to support the Bitcoin network. This is how positive regulation slowly but surely starts to get rolled out. It is absolutely massive. So let's talk about some of the assets that are going to benefit from all this good Bitcoin news specifically Doge Coin. So they just did an upgrade. The network just did an upgrade. There are developers on Dogecoin. Most people don't want to talk about the underlying fundamentals of this asset because they think it's a meme asset. Core 1.14.6 is now released, live and current, with a good number of improvements under the hood and some nice new features. Look who responded. Elon Musk, the most powerful person in the world pretty much in terms of technology. Upgrades. He is supporting Dogecoin at every turn. This is legitimately his asset. That's what Dogecoin now is. Obviously, it's somewhat decentralized, but good to know that you have the most powerful technology entrepreneur in the world in your corner if you're a Dogecoin investor. Here's an update on the Helium network. There's no better way to celebrate the evolution of Helium with a new milestone. Hotspots are coming together to officially hit 900,000 hotspots deployed on the People's Network in over 68,000 cities and 182 countries. Helium is a decentralized wireless internet server. You can gain Wi-Fi through the Helium network. So that's 900,000 hotspots in 68,000 cities, an absolutely massive growing network. Obviously, they have massive investors like Andreessen Horowitz. Here's an update on VeChain. UFC partner VeChain aims to change the world. This is from UFC.com. UFC partner VeChain is building solutions in the fields of sustainability, carbon management, medicine, automobile energy, decentralized finance, and more. So UFC, obviously a believer, obviously very closely linked with VeChain. Now here's an update on the metaverse. The metaverse wars are heating up. Yesterday, Minecraft, Microsoft announced that they're not going to allow NFTs in their metaverse. I don't know how they expect to attract people to their metaverse if you can't own anything in it, but that's the opposite of what Epic Games is doing. Now that Minecraft has banned NFTs from its servers, will other gaming giants follow suit? Not Epic Games, says CEO. So Fortnite is going to now accept NFTs, at least in the future. We've talked about Sandbox Metaverse, we've talked about Decentraland, we've talked about the Board Ape Yacht Club Metaverse, Fortnite, other big video game ecosystems are going to be competing. Now there's a lot of traction in the ones we've talked about, so I'm not worried about them, but yes, there will be massive competition. Here's an update on the regulation of crypto around the world. South Korea has postponed their plan to tax crypto till 2025. Countries around the world are starting to compete with each other. They want to share in the market. South Korea will not tax crypto until 2025. They are doing everything they can to own that market. We will stay on top of this ridiculous market. It is so exciting.